what's up guys welcome back to a new episode of built series um so just where we left off we actually took off the radiator core support on the last episode if you guys could see we of course have a new core support now the old one was pretty busted up um, so this whole radiator was bent and the core support was cracked from here in the bottom right there So what I ended up doing is actually hit up a guy. It was a local guy who was selling it on offer up Basically, this is the whole new radiator support. This came off of a g37 four door The good thing about this one is that it is in excellent condition as you can see there just a little bit of crack right there The bolting pieces are fine. So this bolted up perfectly The only difference with this core support is that this piece right here and on the other side as well is a little bit different from the four door and the two door so what i did is i actually took it from that one that's my original two door one i took off that little quartz repeat on that one and bolted it up right here so we're going to use this one this core support is in perfect condition we need to swap out the harness because the guy cut it off so we're going to swap it out from this one um, to the original one on the car and it's gonna be all good to go now one thing that i talked about in the last episode is that this piece right here you guys noticed that how it was bent the frame was bent my dad actually fixed this part so if you guys could see over here this core support is fixed because we actually what we ended up doing is we took a jack a floor jack and we put it in from the bottom with this um lumber so we jacked it up from here and it started bending up in place. So everything, if you could see now, aligns perfectly with the holes. So we do not need to replace this piece. It was good if you could, but if it's fixable, we fixed that piece, so it's all good to go. So we're gonna use it as is. Um, the fenders might be salvageable as well because it's not that bad actually the only damage we have is this so after looking at the damage i feel like we might be able to fix this part the brackets for the bolts are perfect so i'm going to talk to one of my body guys we're going to see if you can fix that but in today's episode what we're going to do is we're we might take this off but we're going to assess the hood because i know in the hinges it's a little bit bent if you could see inside there that hood right there that piece it's a little bent so we're gonna open up this fender so we could assess the damage from the hood um so yeah let's open up this fender um i know we have to take off the whole side skirt so i'm gonna take that out so we could open up the fender and we're gonna see how bad the damage is and then i'll be able to order the parts this one actually got the side mirror as well we're gonna install that as well in this episode Okay guys, so what I did end up doing is I actually took it out. The radiator support, it's easier access to actually work on it. Plus I did not plug in anything um, because I need to plug in all these wires and we need to test out everything inside as well. Um, so we actually took it out. Here's a better view of how it's sitting now, how we fixed this frame. And you remember how this piece was all bent up because this is supposed to be like this. Um, so this was bent up that I actually straightened out. So we're gonna get that rebuilded to have it a little bit stronger. And now it's actually mistaken. We're gonna actually jack up this side because you gotta open up this fender. I don't know why I was jacking up the other side. So I am using a 10 millimeter socket because it is hard to actually open up these with a Philip head because they're kind of um, bolted in pretty strong. So I'm using this 10 millimeter socket to open these up. It's a little bit easier doing it with one hand as well. So there's gonna be a series of bolts right here. There's one right there, one in the front, and a couple right here that we're gonna open up. So let me open this up. So once we have those bolts taken out, there's gonna be a bolt right here and one on the other side of the wheel. And then this should come off very easily. And then we'll check it out. But what we're trying to do is open up this fender because we open up all of these screws right here on the top um, there's a screw right there that we need to remove and there is a screw if you look underneath right here you see those screws right there those are the screws that are holding up this fender so we're going to open those up but before that we need to open up the side skirt and there's also a screw right here you see right there there's one screw right there. So that's not gonna be that hard to access from the outside. The only two that I'm worried about is the ones underneath that 
side skirt area so right now i'm just trying to figure this out so we managed to end up taking off that side skirt it was very easy actually um their clips are right here there's like nine bolts in the bottom the two in the front what i managed to do is actually open it up from the back and made it easier so we're gonna open that up and then we opened up this fender basically the damage is like so so basically all this part is all bent so we're gonna replace the whole fender it's not salvageable and now we're gonna replace the hood hinge quick rundown we took off the whole hood as you saw in the last clip because um the the pieces were bent so let me show you real quick so this is the whole hood basically right here is where the hood hinge is bent and if you could see it's kind of hard but it's kind of bent right here um i rather just replace the whole thing because it's gonna sit better and more flush compared to just trying to hammer this down so what we're gonna do we're just gonna get a new hood um, and it's very easy to open it up. It's just two bolts right here and on the other side it's very easy to open it We put the radiator support back on so we just made sure the last last minute finishing So everything is really good over here. We actually fixed these hood hinges because they were kind of bent for both of them So we fixed those now what we're gonna do these this is a replacement side mirror So I'm gonna take this one out and we're gonna replace it with that one. So let me open this up all right, so to open up this side mirror, basically we need to open up this piece right here. We installed the side mirror. I couldn't really show you too much because my battery is kind of dying. It's a very easy process. Basically, you do have to, do, you do have to open the whole door panel. There's a screw behind here, there's a screw behind here, a screw right here. Uh, there's two screws behind this trim piece. Once you have all of that open, um, just take out the whole door panel and then that piece should come off and then there's three bolts as I showed you I'm not too sure about the coolest, but I know the convertibles they have an airbag right here So if you are doing anything like this be sure to disconnect the battery before you do anything Just a quick rundown of the car for today's episode what we did is that we actually changed up the side mirror um, we opened up the hood because the hinges are pretty bent as I showed you before and we also reinstalled the radiator core support um, it's coming along pretty good I'm, I'm really excited on seeing this car running and driving again the only other thing we actually took off the fender which I'm not there it is so we took out the fender um, that needs to be replaced the other one is good we're gonna get that salvaged again this one is not replaceable so we're gonna get a new one and put it on for those of you that are wondering how to take off the fender it's very simple actually you're gonna take out a bolt right here there's a few bolts in the, the front and there's a bolt over here which you have to open up the door to actually not open it up but like just open up the door and access it from inside and then there's gonna be two fen uh, bolts right here they're a little bit tricky to actually access what I ended up doing as I showed you in the beginning of this video is that I actually on the opened the side skirt there's a bolt right here and then a few in the bottom so I, you don't have to open up the whole thing just open it up from here and you could access it right there once that's opened up um, the fender comes out and then it's very easily easily replaceable the reason why I opened up the fender not only does it need to be replaced but also to check and assess if the frame is bent which good news it's not bent so we don't need to actually you know get any kind of frame pulling done the only thing we found out later in this video is that this right here is kind of bent so we need to get that new as well so we're gonna replace that the hood I just put it on on there so if it does rain it doesn't make the car wet um, other than that I'm super pumped on seeing the results on this car looks like we don't have that much work left the bumper i already have um, the only thing i need to buy now is the headlight the hood and the grill for the front bumper other than that the only thing after that is to get it painted i'm gonna paint the whole car just because i don't want to just paint the whole front end and have mismatching color so i'm just gonna paint the whole car and then yeah we'll just drive it around enjoy the car do a little bit of review and then maybe just sell it out and just get a new car Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in on the second episode of the Built Series. 
if you guys have any other feedback any other suggestions just comment down below on what i should do differently anyways guys i'll let you go be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one